Dave Grohl's unmistakable impact on Nirvana. Well, first off, there was that awesome drum intro to Smells Like Teen Spirit. Nirvana were coasting along just fine. They had released their debut record, Bleach, in 1989. Tons of awesome songs on there. Blue, Love Buzz, School, Big Cheese, many more. Their current drummer, Chad Channing, he had drummed on around 80% of that record. Just bar a couple of songs. And by all means, the band sounded great. Heavy, grungy. But it seems as though, moving forward, Kurt wanted more. Looking for something a bit different. And with the introduction of Dave Grohl to the band, he got that. Grohl, of course, a guitarist and a singer himself, brought that to the drum stool. Maybe just had a couple of qualities that Channing didn't, not taking anything away from Chad Channing either. He drummed great on Bleach. Great musician in his own right. But as I say, when it came to Nirvana moving forward, the sound they wanted to get with Nevermind, Channing had drummed on a couple of early Nevermind demos at those smart sessions in 1990 with Butch Vig. That drum intro to In Bloom, that's his. We all know that. But when it came to the recording of Nevermind, Channing didn't make it. Gwol did. The question is, could have Nirvana reached those heights with Chad Channing as their drummer? How would have he sounded on Nevermind? Maybe more suited to an album like In Utero. We'll never know this, of course, but interesting to hypothesize on it. But as I say, with Grohl being an established musician already, writing his own songs, playing guitar, singing, stuff like that, he just had that edge up on Channing. Grohl's backing vocals on songs like Polly and In Bloom on Nevermind, Penny Royalty on In Utero, their two voices just sound so great together like one just seeing Grohl had that X factor that Kurt was looking for. It seemed as though Channing and Cobain at that time had their differences creatively and it just wasn't going to work between them no matter what happened. Kurt was looking for that little something else in a new drummer and he definitely got that with Dave Grohl. Grohl's only gone on to prove it even more forming the Foo Fighters, many successful albums, some great songs, as I say a great musician in his own right. So what do you guys think about it? How would have Channing sounded on Nevermind, on In Utero, for example? Drummed great on a song like Dive off Incesticide, but could he have taken that extra step up? Would have Nirvana gone to the heights they had of without Grohl? Don't get me wrong, Kurt was always going somewhere with his singing, his songwriting, him and Chris Novoselic. They were going places no matter what. But Grohl certainly seemed to be that cog that fitted right into the Nirvana band at that time so well. So there it is, guys. We'll wrap it up. Thanks heaps for tuning in as always. Leave your comments down below. Drop a like on the video. Sub to the channel if you haven't already. And we'll catch you next time.